Hi there, it's Dr. Grant Pagden. You know, I'm a regular reader of a blog called Consumer Health Digest, which is produced every couple of weeks by Dr. Stephen Barrett. He is an author who's been investigating and writing about consumer health issues for more than 40 years. His Quack Watch website serves as an important source of information on health fraud and quackery. He happens to be the vice president of the Institute for Science and Medicine, and he serves as a panelist on several of the top medical journals. In the Consumer Health Digest post from 14 August 2022, uh, Dr. Barrett addresses the topic of immune support supplements. So his team of researchers went to a health food store and collected a variety of products touted to support the immune system and subjected them to some uh, scientific scrutiny. As it turns out, none of these products was really able to match up to their claims and uh, no uh, demonstrable benefits were observed. Now I do know of one product that does have significant clinical research behind it that has been proven to support the immune system. And it's this product right here called ImmunoCal. We know that ImmunoCal is clinically proven to elevate glutathione levels. And these are critical for the proper support of the immune system, including the formation of antibodies. Now both the FDA and Health Canada have validated these health claims. And this particular product is listed in both the Physician Drug Reference in the US and the CPS in Canada, which are the doctor's drug reference books of all the pharmaceutical products licensed for sale. Now, of course, in order to make it into this reference book, the health claims must be validated. So we know that ImmunoCal is a product which is designed specifically for the support of a strong immune system. Now I've put some links below, both to the Consumer Health Digest issue that I quoted from, as well as the actual listing in the CPS reference book for your information.